Okay, so let's start working on the details uh, for this model here. Uh, so if we go to UV edit, uh, because we need to export uh, this UV layout uh, to Photoshop and start adding in those details. Uh, so in Blender 2.8, you have this ability of uh, selecting two objects, two meshes or two objects of the same type and then going to edit mode of the same object. Uh, this allows you to edit uh, the UVs of uh, the object at once. So let's unhide these UVs. And uh, the advantage to this is that uh, now we, we have access to the UVs of this object and uh, this object here. I think, uh, but I think the objects we want are these here, this, this ring here and this here. So <coughs> and now we can scale, we can export one new V and work on that. Uh, yeah, and work on that. So let's make sure that uh, we know what. So this here is uh, this part here. I think we can rotate it 180 degrees. Rotate 180 degrees, why is it? Okay, I think I need to turn. My computer becomes really slow when I have a bevel and subdivisions turned on. So let me first turn on simplify and rotate this 180 degrees like that. Uh, so this part is this part here. Uh, this part is this part here. So what about this area? So I think we also need to rotate this up. 180 and just scale this down and also rotate this 180 degrees so that we can easily identify the different parts or the different sections and uh, we can also just uh, so now that uh, we have that I don't know if I need to add any details here should I, should I, should I, should I, let me see. You know what, I'm just going to add details on these two here. So you can go to UV, export UV layout, and I'll uh, just call this UV. UV. Then in Photoshop, you can go to uh, you can create a new object, new project, or just, where is this, uh, is this, it, 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 uh, it modified, hmm, where am I saving this, July, no, it should be in December, Okay, so now that we have that, we can just go to, <coughs> uh, we need to export again uh, this UV. So UV export layout, uh, we are exporting it in the, that, in that folder. And now we can just drag and drop into Photoshop. So an easy way to know what where you're painting, you can start by adding, uh, creating a few shapes. Let me fill them with a different color so we can paint out where this section is. So I think it is going to be around here. And this is just to indicate that uh, where we expect things to be uh, is what is where they are, they actually are. So, so this, you can remove that. And uh, so this other part, this here, would be uh, this here. So we're just going to give it a different color. Uh, 
and uh, the back part is this part. I think this part here was too close, but uh, we have already exported, so I won't change it. That's the back part. And uh, we have these lines here. <coughs> I think they are round. So we can bring this UV layout to be above everything. I think those are around here and here. This is just marking out where the where the different details are, and uh, also we have these bottom ones. So they're supposed to be at the bottom here. And we also have this metallic part, which we can give a different color as well. Maybe a red. So if we exported this, let's first turn off the UV as a JPEG. I'll save it to do, 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 do. where is this? Uh, we can go to shading and uh, import that as an image. So texture, image texture, and I can open the image. It's this and I feed it in there. Did we we save? Okay, so I think I it's supposed to be this one here. <coughs> Remember, we are not working on this. We're just looking at it. You can see where we marked out these. I think these lines needs this needs to extend around here so that uh, these lines can extend here. But uh, this part here, I think it also should go around the back side. So we just now the problem is that uh, this is using the same material. Uh, we, every object here has a different material, but uh, if you select this and uh, use Shift D to duplicate this, uh, you can remove all the materials and uh, use the one. And you can see it will show you the different areas that we have marked. You can see that matches what we want exactly. Yeah, so that's how you export UVs in uh, Blender, and uh, yeah. Thank you.